you weren't waiting too long, were you? Good. Huh? Yeah. Enjoy. There you go. Thank you so much, guys. Our ribs look really good. The meat's starting to pull off the bone. It looks really delicious. Look at them. Oh my god, they're amazing. The ribs are looking good, but we've taken a bit of a risk with the lemon thyme and honey on the lamb. Today, it's all about the taste, and I'm just hoping that our meat dishes taste good enough to save us from going into elimination. We've got the yellow team's food here. We've got sticky ribs. The meat looks nice, good colour, nice bark on the ribs. Beautiful smoke ring on Gary's rib. Look at that. Let's taste and see, shall we? <laughs> That's it. It's a full contact sport. It is full right? contact sport. <laughs> I like this. It's a sticky, sweet, glazed rib. It's big on the smoke. It's very clean. We got a bite away from the bone, a little bit of tug, maybe a touch under, but it's close. Thank you so much. Cheers. Right, the rest of it. I'm going right into the lamb. That's great. Oh yeah, lamb's beautiful. That is delicious. So, so you get the smoke, you get that nice zing from the lemon, you get the herbs in there. It's really got a great balance. It's cooked perfectly. The lemon thyme is such a clever idea. Really beautiful, elegant way of bringing out the flavor of the smoke, bringing out the flavor of the lamb. All right, let's taste the coleslaw. That's nice. Yeah, I like that. Crunchy. Have a little bit of that lamb with that whole school. And the yeah. two are made in heaven. Fresh and light and pungent, just really nice. Yeah. This is sophisticated barbecue, I love it. The lamb's uh, a star for me. It's yeah. really, the lamb's just. There we go, guys. Thank you so much. Cheers. I thought the yellow team slam was really beautifully cooked tonight. Cool, there we go, guys. I don't know by what miracle we've made this happen, but it's actually working. The chicken looks really nice, the sides look beautiful, and yeah, the food's absolutely flying out of our kitchen. There you go, thank you. I'm worried about my lamb. Ideally, I would have given it a bit more time in the smoker, but hopefully it will be perfect. Let me just get this tray ready for you. I have literally... Maybe not blood, but there's definitely sweat and tears gone into the ribs today. I've put everything that I have into them, and if they're not right, I can pretty much resign myself to being elimination tomorrow. Let's just go one thing. How good is that meat flavor? <laughs> Every single one of them. amazing. Oh, the, the, the glisten on that bark. Yeah, it's gorgeous, and I can already smell the coffee and the rub, and just great. The question is, really, are they cooked enough? That is the question. Oh, I don't think we I don't think we should lay. Let, let's lay into one of these two ribs because they look brilliant. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But Andy, there's that falling apart you were talking yes. about. Just comes clean when you bite. This this is really nice. It's super soft, but it's still hanging on to the bone. That's exactly what you want. You have to tell the whole story in one bite. And it did. Well balanced with the smoke, not too much heat, not too much sweet, just a little mix of everything. Really nice. Do we have to move on or can we just eat ribs now? George is still going, look, he's still going. How good is that? What's next, Matt? What should we eat? Let's just go with some colour. I like about it is just this lovely, this pink, this smoke line around the outside. That mustard sweet sort of honey glaze that they've got on there is really delicious. So let's look at the chicken. I don't mind them. I think they're, they're really delicious and I've got this lovely kind of paprika, you know, speckled flesh that's cooked beautifully. It's got a lovely texture. And I think that chicken and those ribs, the combination of the two, really, really strong because it's really <laughs> juicy. Shall we taste the vegetable dish? That watermelon salad, I can't wait to taste. I like that. I mean, that's 
salad, the, the balance of the acid in the dressing, the, the sweet juiciness of the watermelon, the pickle on, on the rind, and then also those radishes. It's a beautifully balanced salad that goes so well with the chicken, but especially with those ribs. Oh, you're cleansed now, aren't you? Yeah. You feel refreshed yes. and ready to tuck in again. Yes. The Blue Team's ribs were fantastic. Just the meat was falling off the bone, and they were spicy, and they were very, very tender. The chicken drumstick was great, really lovely and spicy. Hi, guys. Well, how are you? Good. Thank you. <laughs> There's someone, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Judging by the amount of people that are still waiting, I'm really concerned for us as a team. Oh my God, look at our line. It feels like we've been putting up all these plates of food, but we are just not getting anywhere, and it looks like we haven't even hit the surface. Uh-oh. Oh, now there's a fire. I have been cooking chicken wings for ages, and then there's a fire. This has gone so wrong. They're really on fire. Ow. I can't believe that it turned so pear-shaped. Oh, God. We have a flambe situation of the chicken wing. It's not meant to be like this right now. Half the barbecue is a light. I don't even know what to do. I'm just going to focus on the chicken wings that aren't on fire and make sure they're cooked perfectly. Oh, I swear words. Our customers are waiting for our food. I just hope I can salvage some of this chicken. Oh, God. I hope they taste good. Well, here we are, the red team's efforts. And I believe these are a spicy wings. So hang on, George. Yes. Yeah. It's a dirty, smoky. Yeah, there's a little bit of burnt char. Absolutely. And you can taste it. <laughs> the chicken is certainly cooked, but, um, but as, as we can tell by the coughing here, um, and by George's sprinkler head, there's a lot of chili in that. that, that oh, yeah, it's still coming, still coming. Yeah. There's so much spice in there, that has absolutely killed my palate. Their rib is quite interesting. They've smoked that with the uh, hickory smoke and the cherry. The question is really, are they cooked? Because they, yes, uh, that is the question. They struggled, didn't they? Interesting to see what it tastes like. Oh, dear. That is seriously salty. Yeah. Mine's salty and tough. Yeah, it's, it's got a tough. A little under. This meat plate demonstrates to me they haven't really thought about temperature and the, just the balance of spice. Side dishes, so we whip through them. Corn. I like that. Blue cheese and corn, who knew? Sweet potato with bourbon, maple and pecan. Oh, yum, that's delicious. It's fudgy, it's sweet. It tastes like pie filling. Yeah, the bourbon adds another layer of smokiness to the sweet potato, and then the pecans on top just give you that nice little bit of a sweet with it. It's really nice. The balance of these dishes is so good. And the thing that's been out of balance with the meat is painted there in the, in the, in the vegetables. It's a balance of salt and sweet and sour and heat. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's, into, it's as if the red team were born just to do um, barbecue sides. It's, it's the wrong way around. Well, there's no doubt about it. The essence of today was a low and slow barbecue. But can I tell you, it was a marathon in the kitchen and you guys had to push. You guys did a phenomenal job. Every team had a standout dish today. Unfortunately, the bottom two teams will go through to an elimination tomorrow. For one team, they really struggled. Although two of your vegetarian sides were absolute hits, your ribs, your chicken, lack the finesse and the balance of a truly great low and slow barbecue. And that's why the first team 
into tomorrow's elimination is the red team. So yellow, blue, comes down to you two teams. One of you will be safe. Yellow team, we loved that lamb. It was the perfect way of elegantly bringing out those flavors, not just of the lamb, but also of the smoke. And that slaw, fresh, crunchy, perfect balance of freshness, of sourness, and of sweetness. Blue team, those chicken drumsticks were perfectly cooked. Super succulent, lip-smackingly good. And that watermelon salad, beautifully balanced. But our decision came down to this. There was one rib that would stand up even in a Kansas City barbecue competition. And I think as Andy is the pit master here, he should let you know whose rib that was and which team has won. Andy? The winning team... is the blue team. <laughs> I am so proud of Jessica. I know how much this meant to her. Blue team. That rib told the whole story in one bite, and we loved it. Oh, just so happy to have won this challenge. There was such a slim chance today, and Andy's comments are just amazing.